Hello everybody! Today we're going to unbox the XL Van Black Piano Paint Single Automatic Watch Winder. So we're going to go ahead and open up the box, take a close-up look, and see how it runs. And I received a good question when I did the unboxing of the Black Crocodile PU Leather Watch Winder earlier in the week. And um, the question was, what is a watch winder? What's its purpose? So that's a good question. And a watch winder really keeps your watch wound, your automatic watch wound, so that by the time you want to wear it again, chances are it's still running. Um, because most automatic watches typically have a power reserve of about 40 hours. That means two days. So what that means is if you have a few automatic watches, chances are by the time you want to try another one on or put another one on, uh, it would have stopped. So what these watch winders do is they turn your watch so that the automatic rotor in it uh, winds the spring and maintains the energy in the watch. So that's what a watch winder is useful for. And it's especially useful for when it comes to complicated watches such as annual calendars and perpetual calendars especially, as you're not just setting the time and date, you're also setting the day, month, year, leap year, and moon phase. And these watches are normally quite delicate, so you don't want to be messing about with them too much for fear of damaging them. And it also takes quite a while to set these watches up. And owners who own such complicated and fine timepieces normally have better things to do with their time as well. So that's what a watch winder is for. So over here, we're looking at the velvet pillow cushion. And, and we're gonna open up this main watch winder box here. If I can do it, I'm always fiddling with these things, but one day, one day, someday. Here we go. Make sure there's nothing else in there. That's fine. Let's put that aside. And then take a look at this shiny piano finish. It's a black piano finish. With non-slip rubber feet as well, which is quite good because it keeps your watch winder in place, especially if you have a watch in there, you don't want it being knocked about and falling off your table or desk. So let's go ahead and open that lid window here and remove that foam. And that's the plastic watch cushion holder there. And we saw the velvet pillow cushion earlier. Okay, so let's put that down and um, let's try some watches in it then now. So today, once again, I've got the Swatch System 51 and we're going to try and um, this goes actually on the plastic pillow here. And um, the plastic pillow is for watches with leather or rubber straps or any kind of soft even nylon or fabric straps so oops i've done it the other way around my bad so what you want to do is keep the watch on this side where the uh, wings or clips are and then fasten it so make sure it's snug there we go strap it right through. So like I said, this plastic pillow cushion is for 
rubber, leather, or fabric straps. So, so you have um, the right proper tension on the watch to keep it firmly in place in the holder. So let's go ahead and pop the watch in the winder. And it's nice and snug and secure. And also let's try the running the watch winder with double A batteries. And then we can try it on with the main adapter power supply afterwards. So there are settings on the winder, you can see, um, there we go, hopefully. So on the left side, you have the off, what looks like clockwise, counterclockwise, and then your bi-directional setting at the top at 12 o'clock there. And on the right side are four different settings. So what they are with the first setting, it rotates for five minutes and then pauses for 55 minutes. Uh, second setting, 4 minutes rotation, pauses for 26 minutes and then um, goes through the cycle again. And for the third setting, 3 minutes rotation, pausing for 12 minutes and then repeating. And the last one, uh, setting 4, is 3 hours of rotation followed by 9 hours of pausing before repeating. So they all repeat for all of these settings there until you decide to turn it off. So, there we go. All right, so let's actually turn it on. So we've got the batteries inside, let's turn it on for the clockwise setting in the first position and watch it turn. So this thing runs very quietly. Once again, this has a Mabuchi motor. So these Mabuchi motors run very silently and reliably. So you can have them close to your bed at night without being um, too noisy. Okay, let's try it in the counterclockwise position. So you have an idea of the turn rate there. Okay, so bi-directional, you probably won't get to see it um, in action because um, the first setting, even with the shortest setting in the position number three with a three minute rotation, um, that's going to take a while. So you don't want to be sitting here and, and uh, <laughs> watching this video run for three minutes like that. So, okay. So we've tested it with the batteries. Let's try it with the main power supply. Um, so it's supplied with a DC USB cable, um, which is quite good, a DC plug there. So what you can do with this plug is you can actually power it with a PC or laptop or even a power bank if you can get the power supply to be um, on the whole time. So this is really good if you are storing your winder in a secure location, especially um, that then you can use it with a power bank, which is pretty nifty. So let's plug this in the in on the right side and then plug that in and into the socket and then of course turning it on and there we go once again, it runs quietly and smoothly. And another thing to note is that with this other socket here, what you can do is you can actually run a um, daisy chain them actually. So 
they've also supplied a DC double plug uh, power lead here and um, sorry not power lead but cable and you can actually plug this in and then power another XL van watch winder running off just one power supply which is quite convenient so we can go ahead and try that because I actually have the XL van black crocodile PU leather watch winder that um, I did a unboxing and a quick test of early in the week and uh, where I received that question about what is the purpose of a watch winder so let's go ahead and put that in the in socket and actually before we do that let me also demonstrate with the soft velvet cushion here or pillow with a bracelet strap um, so what I have here is the Rolex GMT Master 2 and put it, there we go so there we have it nice and secure and once again this is spring loaded so it keeps the right tension on your watch so it doesn't slip about on the pillow cushion so let's turn this off and then remove the plastic cushion with the swatch system 51 and put the Rolex with the soft velvet cushion pillow in there so there we go so you can see it's in place there and we can turn it on and once again it does the same thing runs smoothly and quietly okay so now we want to watch it in action connected with another watch winder so shall we put the swatch in here as you can see which is quite handy that the design is the same in terms of the um, cushions and the, uh, the well the, the holders really between the XL van watch winders so you can basically swap them about which is quite handy so let's put the swatch system 51 in the black crocodile PU leather watch winder there Close it and then connect the DC double plug cable into the outlet side of the piano black winder and then let's stack them up and, and then lastly of course turning it on and of course you have to turn on the top one as well which means switching on like that very cool so you can even place them side by side as well so if you have a few of the same design you can actually make it look connected and together in a very modular way so that's the XL van black piano paint single automatic watch winder thanks for watching and happy winding